You're watching Fox News at 9 with Brian Wolf, Ashley Paredes, Chief Meteorologist Alex Garcia, and investigative reporting by Yami Virgen. Fox SA News at 9, Puro San Antonio. They're called youthful offenders, and their charges have landed them in the slammer with adults. Tonight, our Yami Virgen is taking a look at how many juveniles are now held in the Bear County Jail after being certified as adults for their alleged crimes. They look like normal kids, unless someone tells you something different. These kids, in fact, are now charged as adults, and they're in the Bear County Jail. You will see some of their names and charges throughout the story. I'm gonna get another bond, so I'm gonna get another bond. They are charged with committing very adult crimes. In some cases, premeditated and in cold blood. It looks like a 25-year-old woman lost her life. Completely innocent. Innocent, 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 innocent. Under the age of 18, in custody in the Bear County Jail with adults. This is Isaac Gonzalez, charged and now convicted of murder. Renee, also a minor at the time, was also charged with the murder of a woman who was staying at an Airbnb on Bald Mountain. These two were certified as adults and have been in custody at the Bear County Jail house with the adults. We do have areas of the jail that are designated for what we call youthful offenders. And so those would be people uh, 17 years of age and, and younger. And keeping a kid here is not the same as an adult. By jail standards, uh, they do present some challenges. Uh, we do have to keep them separate from the other inmates uh, by sight and sound. In other words, they not only uh, can't ever be, be in visual contact with any other with adult inmates. They can't. They have to be in an area where they can't even hear what's being said, uh, and, uh, or any of the sounds coming from the from the uh, adult side of the jail. In an open records request, Fox SA asked for the number of names and charges of all youthful offenders. In all, 33 are currently at the Bear County Jail, facing numerous charges, evading arrest, 11 charges, unauthorized use of a vehicle, 8, aggravated robbery, 42, but 32 of those charges are from just one juvenile. Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, 10, and then some, like Rene Camarillo, John Doerr, and Diego Salazar, are all charged with murder. Andrew Watson is charged with capital murder. Judge William Cruz Shaw has dealt with some of these difficult cases. That's our goal in juvenile. Keep these kids alive and keep them out of the adult system. He's also had the duty of certifying a number of these kids as adults after some of these heinous crimes. The judge admits in some cases these kids have been in juvenile court before they end up going to the adult system. And some kids you have to be honest with. If you continue this lifestyle, you will not make it past your 25th birthday. Sean has seen some turn 18 and die like one of the alleged shooters at the Market Square shootout during Fiesta. 18-year-old Mikey Valdez had more than 20 charges while in the juvenile system, according to sources. Others end up at the Bear County Jail. Well, I mean, it's heartbreaking. The sheriff tells us that statistics are against these kids certified as adults. Once they step foot in here, their likelihood of coming back goes up. Um, you add to that that somebody is spending time in a jail as a as a youthful offender, 15, 16 years of age, and they're there for, a, again, something uh, a high level, high grade felony, something particularly violent. That just, to me, shows a very bleak outlook uh, for their adult life. Of those 33 kids, two of them are girls. They're both 17. One of them is charged with aggravated robbery. The other one with the assault of a pregnant woman, bodily injury. Jamie Virgin, Fox SA.